channel this is Randall E.T. and today I am coming on to let you know how you can save some money grocery shopping okay before we get started please make sure you like comment and subscribe so yes y'all I wanted to do this video because the price of groceries has gone up dramatically in the last four years and I feel like it's slowly getting back down just a little bit but like y'all food is expensive I can go to the store and easily spend $40 on a meal for my family. Now we are a family of five and that is completely unacceptable. That is unacceptable. But, um, you know, if you don't have a plan and you're not thinking ahead, it's easy to spend that, especially when you have to buy things to cook with like butter, which the cost of butter has gone up. And when you just need, you know, flour, like when you don't have the basics you know flour bread butter milk like all of those so i just have a couple things that i um jot down that has kind of helped me save money um hopefully it will help you um because food is expensive and i'm like really really tired of spending so much on food like food is um it's the most expensive bill because i mean for me in my house because we have to eat and you want to eat food that you enjoy. You don't want to just have ground beef and rice. Like, no. I mean, to survive, yes. But to actually enjoy food, you want food that is flavorful. You want food that is seasoned. And so I have some things here um, that I'm just going to let you know, you know, how you can save some money. These aren't deep things. This is actually just maybe three things that I have. Um, to just let you know how you can save some money. They're super simple. The first thing, okay, this isn't deep at all. It's not deep at all, okay? But go by yourself. Go to the grocery store by yourself, okay? Because when you go to the grocery store by yourself, you're actually more focused and you don't have someone telling you what they want. Um, Cause when I take my children, mom, I want this, mom, I want that. And you don't want to tell them no. You know what I mean? Because nine times out of 10, they're only picking up something that's a couple dollars. But that couple dollars going down three and four rows, there you are spending an extra $20 on items. So no, go to the store by yourself, okay? Because guarantee, guarantee, and if you have kids, you know this. If you go to the store, when are you leaving without buying them something? Even if it's just going to the dollar store. I can't tell my children we're going in Dollar Tree and I'm not getting them something. Like I can't do it because it's only $1.25. But you know what I mean? But if you're going, and see I have two. But if you're going to Dollar Tree three times a week, three or four, okay, and you're letting them pick out two items. See the math? See the math? See how it can get pricey when it's like, okay, that's $10 I could have saved. You know what I mean? Like $10, that can get you two pounds of ground turkey, ground meat. I'm just saying. But yes, first tip, go by yourself, okay? The second thing is shop from your pantry. So, and what I mean by that is like, if you already have rice in your um, cabinet, if you already have um, potatoes, you know, if you already have green beans, Go to the store with that in mind to where, okay, I'm going to pair what I have with whatever meat you're going to buy. You know what I mean? If you're buying meat, you know what I mean? But shop from your pantry. I don't know how many times I have went to the store and bought rice when I had it. Bought, my, bought macaroni and cheese, already had it. Bought butter, already had it. So no, shop from your pantry and kind of base what you have on like your meals for like the week. You know what I mean? So like, for example, what do I have upstairs? So I have like two boxes of rice a So I already know, okay, let me get some meat with that. You know what I mean? So yes, shop from your pantry because, um, and have a plan. Like when you go in the grocery store, just don't say, oh, we need food, I'm going in. No, go with a plan. And if you don't, I'm telling you, just shopping from your pantry alone will save you some money. If you have a little bit of cheese, 
and you know you can use that for something, try to think of a meal that you can pair with that little bit of cheese. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying, right? If you have a loaf of bread, you know, instead just shop from your pantry. But I'm gonna finish that sentence. So like if you have a loaf of bread and you don't feel like cooking tonight, buy some lunch meat. I know that seems like a no brainer, but a lot of times we go to the store and we are preparing to buy everything a lot of times and we're not shopping from our pantry. So a lot of times some of the food that we have will actually go to waste. You know what I mean? So shop from your pantry. Um, another thing is also shop what's on sale. Like that's how I kind of determine like what we're gonna eat because I'm literally gonna buy mostly everything on sale. And again, not everything's on sale, but like I'm gonna base it on that. So if I go in the grocery store and let's just say ground turkey is on sale, $2.99 for a pound. And, but just say I'm going in and I'm seeing like the, the ground chuck or the roast. Like, no, we're, we're not getting the roast. We're gonna shop what's on sale. And so that can really help because you can have a list going in but get in there and it's not on sale and end up spending like an arm and a leg just getting groceries. So yes, shop what's on sale. Put in your, um, you know, your coupon code to get your little discount. Like don't take any of that stuff for granted. Like you can save 50 cent, you can get the like two for a dollar. Like that stuff works. Like I don't think in the last five years, I don't think I've gone in a grocery store without putting in my Kroger Plus card. You know what I mean? And then they even have like additional coupons in the app. And I just got hip to that. And actually, no, I, I didn't just get hip to that. I finally unlazied myself and downloaded the app. Is unlazy a word? I don't know. But like for me, I don't like doing a lot of things online. Um, I don't know, it turns me off. But like, y'all, they literally had these grapes on sale. And I was like, oh, I need this deal. So I finally went to someone in the store and I'm like, how do I get this deal? It was like a digital online deal, something you only get from the app. You clip the coupon. It seems like a lot, but once you get the hang of it, you know, you get the hang of it and it's not such a big deal. But it's worth that extra effort so you can save that money. Because like I said, I, we have a family of five. And it's easy to just instantly calculate $200 on groceries a week on top of if you're doing, and that's just dinner. Let me just say that. That's just dinner. You know, if it was, um, if it wasn't school time and just say I'd be doing breakfast for the kids, I'd be doing lunch with the kids. That's another story. But even still, these few things here still apply. So and things that I've noticed, I've actually noticed around here, like ground turkey is cheaper than the ground beef. Like the ground beef has to be on sale, but like the ground turkey is consistently just at a cheaper price, you know? And a lot of people don't like, like ground turkey because um, the texture is slightly different um, because that used to kind of be my thing. The texture was a little different and I was like, uh, but y'all, yeah. uh. When you learn how to season ground turkey, it is the bomb.com, okay? Season it well. And I don't know. And it's and it's delicious. So um yeah, I'm just gonna go, like I said, go by yourself, okay? Shop from your pantry, um, shop what's on sale, and look for those deals. Sometimes when things are on sale, try to get a couple of them if you can. You know what I mean? And if you have to go to multiple stores to get that discount, do that, okay? Like you may just go to Kroger, you may just go to HEB, you may just go to Costco, you may go to Aldi. Sometimes you have to go to a couple of different stores just to get the deals. Cause like I love Aldi, but I can't get everything from Aldi. You know, I like certain brands and certain things are just at different stores. So. That's another way to save money. You know, Audi is consistently inexpensive. So try Audi. And I know I'm saying try Audi, but like y'all, I wasn't going to Audi for a long time. And it's not because I had a problem with Audi. I just didn't live by an Audi. You know what I mean? But like now we live by one 
And I'm like, oh my God, like Audi, I love Audis, okay? So yes, those are the things. Like I said, there's a ton of other ways that you can um, save money. But if you're like me, you're tired of giving the grocery store all your money. And I feel like with these tips here, you can still have food that is enjoyable. Because a lot of times you'll see people, you know, how to save money on food. And it's like, buy rice. And it's like, yes, rice is good. It can be delicious. It can be flavorful. But it's like, we don't just want the rice recipes. You know what I mean? Rice is consistently cheap. You know what I mean? Rice and beans. But it's like, who wants to eat that on a daily basis? Like, we want to enjoy food. We want food that is fun. So, yes, those are the tips. If you know some ways that, um, you know, you want to put in the comments how to save money on food, tips and tricks, let us know in the comments because I'm sure we're all on the same page. We're trying to save money and yes, you can do that on food. And that's like a bill I would say um, you can, um, what's the word am I looking for? I don't know. That's something that you can kind of control. You know what I mean? Lights and gas, they set the rates for the wattage. They set that. You know what I mean? And yes, you can kind of control that in a sense, but I'm just saying food is something that you can really, can, you really can control the cost on. So I'm not going to make this long and drawn out because I feel like I've already done that. But yes, those are the ways. Um, that is the video today. I do thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs>